Normally you start a presentation like this by saying, this is the moment you will be waiting for. But it isn't. You've got the t-shirts. <laughs> well, congratulations. Huge respect and a round of applause to each other and yourselves, for those of you completed and those of you started. I know that you're all very tired, that's why I'm speaking slowly. You're all very tired, exhausted, you've had a huge achievement. I've got a couple of things on the agenda today. First of all, I'd like to bring the good news that um, our sailing friend, Bekard uh, Walt, the Swedish gentleman in the XP44, I just talked to him on the phone, he's in good health, he's on his way to Hellesleo ex yacht's yard, where they're going to take a look at his boat and see what, how extensive the damage is, but he's fine, and he sends us his regards. Yeah. Secondly, I think we should pay huge respect for these two last boats, which didn't quite make it over the, uh, the finish line. There are two boats still racing. These gentlemen are real iron men of the sea. Small, slow boats that are still going for it. An hour after, some 20, 15 hours after some of you completed, let's give them a round of applause. They're not going to get to hear it. Well, I say congratulations and I'll probably say it several times. I was wondering what to say during this presentation today and I didn't have any, you know, pastinax or beetroot or anything. But I thought being involved in the silver rubber is a little bit like uh, a Thai massage. Yeah, you really look forward to it. And while the Thai massage is going on, it's fantastic. You just never know whether you're going to get a happy ending. Now, I hope everybody don't get offended by that because because when I was doing this presentation, I thought to myself, I mean, the first challenge of doing the silver rudder is just actually registering. You know? The fact that you can get 350 participants registered within 36 minutes is absolutely incredible. So that's the first major challenge of the second. How many? Uh, didn't I say what I said? Did I say four? Didn't I say 450? 450. 450 boats registered in 36 or 39 minutes is absolutely incredible. Now the second challenge is convincing your wife and children that it's a good idea. And then convincing your boss or your employees that you have to take at least a week off work to get your boat here. Yeah? And then some idiot decides that they're going to postpone it 24 hours? Well, wow. And then after that, the huge mixed feelings that everybody must have had when you stand and looking at the weather forecast, you're ready, your boat's ready, and the dilemma of whether or not you should start. I know lots of you have that feeling here. And just to put things into numbers, um, 182 of you registered for the re-race on the, on the Friday or on the Saturday, and uh, 138 of you started. And then there were 53 that completed, slightly over a third, 53 out of 138. Now, some of you made it to the starting line and realized that you know, this was just too tough going. Material breaks, people break, boats ground. There's a lot of pressure on you. It's intense, sails are laughing, boats are close to each other. A lot of you won't have had that kind of close encountered sailing ever before especially among some of the really big boats in the confined waters. That in itself is a huge achievement. Some of you got over the start.